have enough time to create content ah, i'll be able that's another sort of it shocked me moment oh, yeah. I'll catch up on all my ratchet reality shows real housewives and stuff um catch up on all the movies and all that eh for where if i even tell you like i sometimes i struggle to even watch like one movie or even one series in a, in, a, in two weeks <laughs> lies you ain't gonna have no time in fact 24 hours you'll be begging for more time because 24 hours is not enough <laughs> hi guys <laughs> how are you guys doing it's such a very um sunny saturday and i'm excited because um it's been raining it's been raining the entire time and i've been like what kind of summer is this this summer is not summering right but anyway i'm so glad to at least see a little bit of sun and yes we've been outside i just wanted to come and sit and have a quick chat with you guys right by the way thank you for 200 subscribers like even having one subscriber is inspiring to me it's it's incredible to see just even one additional subscriber each day it's amazing to see and i'm so happy i'm always excited to celebrate whenever i see like an additional subscriber i'll be like hey by the way we got a subscriber like it's a huge thing i mean most people would think oh it was 200 other people have 2 million but trust me the 200 is exciting like having 200 people subscribe to actually want to know what you're <laughs> on about or to want to understand what you're saying or to want to connect with you it means you must be doing something right right or you know you're you're just building a tribe of family and i'm just really so excited that you guys are coming with me on this journey and it's also motivating as well i mean look at me i'm doing content i'm carrying my baby my new baby by the way <laughs> he's just three months old and I'm just really so excited like I'm with him and he's part of my life and I'm so excited to share that so I just want to say thank you for just taking that time out to actually subscribe and I really hope that you get inspired by my story on uh, some way somehow whether it's through my experiences whether it's through the nuggets that I share or through you know insights from even guest speakers um, whether it's just the wholesome life and just me trying to be, you know, on this journey to being a mindful parent, right? So all in all, I'm just so grateful. Thank you for your subscription. Anyway, to the other of the day, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the maternity leave and my journey so far. I mean, three months in. By the way, I should say this is my first very fast maternity leave yes you heard that right this is obviously my second baby so you're probably wondering okay so what did you do for your first baby anyway i'll tell you that story probably a story for another day but short and simple this is my first maternity leave and i wasn't sure how i was feeling at the point when i had to apply for the leave right because obviously when you're working you've got to give your company at least a month notice but well, advisable two months just to be safe and also depending on the relationship you have with your boss and your team and everything it just makes sense to give them more time just so they can figure out you know the rhythm whilst you're away if they need to apply for a backfill and things like that they can you know have ample time to figure that out if you need to transition to somebody new they can also figure that out right so during the time when i had to give the notice i was very reluctant because you know the kind of work that i did it was very hard to find someone to fill those shoes in that short space of time right because it needed a lot of practice a lot of skill a lot of expertise beyond even that it also needs time with transition anyway that's not even the story I was very reluctant with going on maternity leave because I've never known not to work. Like, I don't even know how not to work. I don't know it. Like, I'm always the busy, busy, busy. Like, when a day is not busy, then it's almost like it's a wasted day for me. I know, you know, sometimes it's very good to rest and I'm a, a super advocate of rest. But I feel like, you know, and whether it's work front or on home front, 
I, I feel uneasy when I'm just sitting around, lying around, doing nothing. So, and my husband, he, he knows that about me. So he was also as nervous as I was in terms of, hey, you sure? Every day he would ask me, are you sure you want to take your man leave? Are you sure? Are you sure? And all that. As much as he would encourage me to go on mad leave, because um, he knew how much I like struggled um, with my first baby. He's also still, so he was kind of like caught in between, in between really wanting me to go on mad leave so I can take time off to rest and bond with a child, as well as him also knowing that I struggle with not working. Like it's so bad that even when I take vacations, I'm with my laptop, I'm with my phone, responding to emails. It's so, it's that bad. <laughs> so I'm a classic example of a workaholic. So now imagine being a workaholic and having to take mat leave. Little did I know, guys, that mat leave wasn't, wasn't it wasn't rest. You, you're not, by the way, when you take mat leave, you guys, you're not going to rest you are just simply moving from a full-time job to another full-time job feel me full-time to full-time and i learned it the hard way just three months in in fact one month in i was like he shocked me he shocked me bad <laughs> so just here to say really that if you were contemplating if you're like me and you didn't you you didn't know how not to work or you don't know how not to work or you're worried about making earns me and earning a living for your family, especially in terrains like this, like, you know, being in North America, you know, it's all about the bills, 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 right? And so you got to work. And maybe if you're in my shoes and you were worried at some point, you know, you're pregnant and you're thinking, oh, is it what taking the, the mat leave? Um, would I be able to afford things? Would I be able to pay my bills? My dear, this is your encouragement to please take the mat leave okay take the mat leave however i need you to note that mat leave is no joke it's no vacation honey it's a full-time job i mean look i'm here trying to do content and trying to talk to you guys but i'm with my son and with my son it's like he can't sleep like he's sleeping now but the moment you just put him in bed he'll wake up and start crying so he wants to be on your body two four seven Right? So mat leave is no joke. It's like 247, you're with this baby. Not alone when you have two kids. And that was one of the reasons I said, you know what? Whatever, as bad as it is, I will definitely take this mat leave because I wasn't sure how to deal with a toddler as well as a new baby. I, 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 and also juggle work at the same time. Like it was easy with my first baby. Not easy, it was easier with my first baby. But i didn't even want to try right now and i had you know a c-section so obviously this c-section there's you know, there's very limited things that you can do especially right after giving birth like you did, the healing is a much slower process up to six months you can't even lift anything heavy or bend down or do anything and all that right so this mat leave has taught me a very very critical lesson and i'm here to share that with you guys as well it's like if you are contemplating taking mat leave please do that for your sanity please do i've been nocturnal lately like i've been struggling to sleep that's because when my son was born he had like the reverse cycle like he would be awake through the night and then sleep throughout the day so at night, I wouldn't sleep. Like, I would have to be up with him all, all day, right? <laughs> like, I wake up in the morning with, like, red eyes and eye bags and stuff. And in the afternoon when, you know how they say, like, when your baby sleeps, then sleep off. Nope. I have to wash his clothes. I have to clean the bottles. I have to cook a meal for the house. I have to get my toddler ready for school. Like, I mean so it's really been a packed maternity leave so far i mean in canada you're allowed to take up to 18 months of maternity leave and yes my friends will scream when i tell them how much <laughs> how much mat leave um we have here however i didn't take the full 18 months right um and that's because i was borderline between oh can i deal with not working not 
from a financial perspective but from just me physically like i don't know how not to work because i've worked practically all my adult years so it was a bit eh, icky for me so it was difficult to like come to terms with that i wouldn't be working now if you're thinking from a financial perspective you know can i cover the bills and all that can i um pay the mortgage and everything because it's all about the bills here charlie i would say right from the moment and this is my guidance to anyone migrating or who has migrated and is pregnant or thinking to start start a family my guidance would be the moment you're even planning on conceiving on on starting to have, to have a baby or the moment you get pregnant i would say start your saving plan and that's what helped my husband and i in terms of like the moment we we knew we were pregnant we had to kind of figure out we had to go back to the drawing board which is obviously our excel sheet of finance planning to relook at okay what is our spending culture now what can we do to accommodate how many months of maternity leave that are, that I was looking to take and how does that impact our financials now when you do that quick analysis it's pretty quick so for instance if you're earning maybe 2k a month example and your mortgage is about $1,000 a month 1k a month obviously 1k isn't enough to cover for every other thing like if you're um, paying um, bills your gas your hydro your Wi-Fi, if you're doing grocery, grocery alone would probably be like $500 a month and things like that. So looking at your typical spend right now before baby, you need to sort of figure out, okay, can we adjust certain things so that we can start saving, even if it's $100 a month, even if it's $500 a month, any amount of saving can really help to get you to a comfortable position when you eventually kickstart your maternity leave, right? So for us, what we did was we decided, okay, pregnant now, in nine months time, I'll give birth. And so what can we do within nine months that can help us build a safety net financially when I eventually do go on mat leave? And by the way, it's not that on mat leave, you don't get any pay. Like if you've worked for a certain number of hours, you'll be eligible for something called EI. So it's some sort of an employment insurance plan. And so that is definitely not your full salary. It's going to be like 50% of your salary thereabouts. So as much as that is not cover for anything, you still need to support that by saving well in advance. Now, if you're able to save like $500 every month, multiply that by nine, you would at least be able to have something that can still kind of carry you along during your mad leave or can even help you do the barest minimum like your baby shopping um all that your baby needs the diaper wipes and you know milk and everything because trust me they're not cheap <laughs> so yes you might think oh yeah but the baby gets the benefits and stuff sometimes depending on your income your your household income the benefits is nothing right depending on how your household income because that's how it's calculated which means the higher you earn the less <laughs> your child benefit vice versa so it's only if you're earning a low or below income um average that you'd potentially get a higher benefit right and this is here however we are not fortunate to have like a big benefit right so that's where the saving comes to play so that's one start the moment you're thinking of conceiving or the moment you're pregnant ensure that you're saving not just you your partner as well should be saving on his end as well you guys can even create a joint account um, and say you know maternity coverage plan you can maybe put in um, 500 and then your husband puts in 500 each month right that would be what by nine months that would most likely be like nine thousand dollars and that's a huge sum definitely can go a long way um, whether it's baby shopping or anything else that you need during your maternity or if you needed to supplement your mortgage uh, payment then even perfect so that's definitely something that I've learned and I think it has really worked well for us so I really wanted to share that second thing I wanted to share was maternity leave will humble you 
Now, if you thought that, oh, I'll be on maternity leave, so I'll have a ton of time to do all that I want to do, or even maybe explore a side gig. Charlie, no, it's not going to work, <laughs> even if you're a superman and superwoman. So that was my initial thought. I was like, hey, I don't know how I'm going to manage without working, so I need to figure out something to do on the side. Charlie, 24 hours isn't even enough anymore. Like, look at my son. Like, he's so clingy that he wouldn't sleep or do anything if it's not on somebody's body. Like, he wants to feel the warmth of a human being before he can relax or sleep or anything, right? So, it's so tough. I mean, when I had my, my parents around for a mogul, it helped ease things off a little bit whilst they would carry him and I'll do the other stuff. So, it doesn't mean, like, when they're carrying him, I'm sleeping, no? They're carrying him and I'm probably cooking or washing his stuff or cleaning or kind of like you know prepare his food or something like that right so it was an eye opener for me and now that they've gone like oh my god it's it's heightened however i've been able to build a routine and that's the second sort of nugget i want to share is you don't have to be in a hurry to build a routine because obviously you would need to study your baby you need to learn your baby you need to know your baby and that way you can best figure out what your routine or the right routine should be and by routine, I mean, you know, what happens when you wake up in the morning? Do you want to bait your baby early, earlier on in the morning? Um, and so you can carry on the day, for instance, for those of us who have, you know, toddlers, you'd want to get your baby ready for school. What time do you normally wake up? So when it was just my baby, I basically wake up like an hour or 30 minutes to when she's awake for instance she wakes up maybe um sometimes between 7 30 a.m and 8 a.m so i'll find myself waking up at 7 or 6 30 a.m get everything done make her food pack her school bag and everything and then when she's she's awake i'll give her a bath but now i have to wake up two hours before they do so i wake up at 6 a.m sometimes 5 30 a.m um to get things done so prep for my toddler and also prep for my baby so prep what he's gonna eat prep his clothes make sure i do his um laundry make sure i also like take care of myself as well in terms of you know brush my teeth have a shower because once this one wakes up there is no having a shower for you unless somebody carries somebody else carries him so obviously with my husband working i would have to wake up <laughs> when he's still asleep shower brush my teeth do all that good stuff before he wakes up that's the only way i can have a shower in a day so that's what i mean by routine like what what is your what's the sleeping pattern of your baby what is your baby like obviously a routine can be figured out before you have the baby because you need to know your baby <laughs> um when i had my first baby you could even drop her in a in her swing and she'll be fine like when she falls asleep, you can just put her on, on her own and she'll be fine. And she would sleep for hours, right? Sometimes we wouldn't be worried. Like, we'd literally have to wake her up to come and eat. <laughs> That's that with, with routines. You know, once you figure out your routine, things would be seemingly better. You know, by then, hopefully, you've studied your kid. Like I was saying, my elder kid, she would sleep for long hours. Um, but this, my child, if he's not on your body, he's not sleeping. Like, he would sleep legit three hours straight on your body. But the moment you just drop him down, he's waking up and crying and fussing and all that stuff. So, he's a, he's a people person. <laughs> you know, they have very extremely different personalities. Um, and so, you have to study each child to be able to successfully sort of build a routine that works. So I'm still like, I'm not even 100% there. I'm still figuring out my routine. Like sometimes, you know, I tweak it. Sometimes I don't. Some days I just wake up and I just wing it. Because sometimes my baby actually even wakes up and like way early than I thought. Like I could be in the midst of even having a shower and he's awake. So I have to like leave everything and come down. Or I'm in the midst of trying to do his laundry and he's awake. So that obviously has to pause and then I have to attend to him and all that. So and because i have a baby that i have to literally carry around <laughs> and i can't put down it's more difficult to even build that routine so you know rest assured i'm still figuring it out but at least like the times that i'm able to wake up early enough to do everything that i need to do clean the house get my toddler ready for school and have a shower 
it works because the rest of the day the, the day i know that okay yes I'd, I'd have to be with him bonding and all that good stuff from a fitness perspective like you would think oh i'll have enough time to bond my mommy weight or i have enough time to like go out chill and even exercise like in the mornings and whatnot so if you know me well you know like <laughs> i'm a fitness fanatic i've always been prior to marriage even in my marriage but being a mother has humbled me so bad because obviously i have to prioritize my kids one month even out of the bedroom room i was ready to start jogging and all that my folks would be like ah no you're not strong ah no don't don't do too much and stuff so i would live, like i would have to intentionally just pipe down a little bit but now that i'm starting to get my like strength back and my rhythm back Early in the morning, when I wake up to go for a quick walk and like, you know, do some jogging and whatnot, that's when my baby wakes up or that's when he decides to wake up or that's when maybe my toddler needs mommy to carry her and like, it's just something. And so I keep postponing it. So now I've had to move my walks, so my daily exercise routines to the evening or sometime in midday. Um, and then I, of course I have to go with my baby. <laughs> so you would see me like pushing the stroller and actually jogging or pushing the stroller and walking i'm sure the guys in my neighborhood are probably like oh my god <laughs> so you know it affects a lot of things and as much as i'm like I, I, the things that i'll typically do or how i'd be able to exercise before i'm not able to do that now let's even talk about the the, the perks right you would have that bonding time that you need and What's the better time to bond with your child than the early days of, of birth, right? Between the first one year, it's best time. Obviously, you have to bond with your child for the rest of, of your child's life. But, you know, you tend to build that bond between you and your child where you get to spend time with your child. Like right now, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a, definitely a good thing, but I don't. It, I feel like it also has its bad sides too because my son wouldn't let any other human carry him or put him to sleep for instance another thing is make sure to use your mat leave wisely like for instance you know when you're working you don't get a luxury of maybe traveling for more than two weeks or even more than a month right in a year and so with mat leave you can do and go wherever you want to go okay so if you have that opportunity please go for it. Use that time to take the holiday, the well-needed and well-deserved holiday that you need. You can even take a girl's trip if your partner is up to it. You can take a trip with your partner as well. Um, but it's really that time to go on your vacation, do your thing, especially when your parents are around. If your parents are around taking care of the baby, you can do your thing or you can go along with the baby. Nothing beats change of environment. I mean, going to a very nice resort, spending time with your family, quality time with your family, I think nothing beats that, right? So make sure to use those times wisely because when you get back to work, you ain't getting all that time no more. <laughs> and another final thing I would want to say is just make sure you're still developing yourself in one way or the other because we're too quick to forget about the work routine when you spend like 10 to 18 months on mad leave, right? So Pick a course, pick something that you've been meaning to do even whilst you're working but never had the time. And yes, as much as maternity leave wouldn't give you that much time, but you can still find time even if it's midnight studying one to two hours each day or taking that course. Let's even talk about expectations versus reality. So what were my expectations going into my leave and what is the actual reality? So expectation was that I will have all the time in the world lies you ain't gonna have no time in fact 24 hours you'd be begging for more time because 24 hours is not enough two is i'll be able to do a side business or figure out something something creative to do and all that stuff again still boils down to having time Eh, unless you're extremely disciplined that's when you can create time to do external thing and of course depending on the kind of baby you have i mean some of those um those folks who have colic babies for instance it's oftentimes difficult because your baby's crying like two four seven and you're trying to figure out you know how to pacify your baby and everything 
another sort of expectation versus reality is that I have more time to spend with my friend. 50% of the time, yes, but not 100% as I thought, right? Um, because <laughs> I'm busy throughout the day that even when my baby comes back from, from daycare, I'm like usually so fagged out. And I'll push myself to just, you know, spend time with her and be able to play with her and everything, do the functional plays and all. But oftentimes I'll see myself like even just falling asleep on the couch. Another expectation was like, eh, I'll catch up on all my ratchet reality shows, catch up on all the movies and all that. Eh, for where? If I even tell you, like, I sometimes I struggle to even watch like one movie or even one series in, a, in, a, in two weeks. <laughs> me that i would i mean i can do like a whole series on a weekend yeah i can't even watch just one episode <laughs> no we no, 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 because that's the time if your baby's crying or anything you know it's it's crazy i mean look i'm i'm talking to you guys and i'm carrying my baby that's to show you so imagine putting something um loud like a movie like you want to watch it like cinema style and everything eh on your own you can't do that so yeah if you're a content person like myself you know you create content you think that oh as a mad leave or oh, i would have enough time to create content ah, i'll be able that's another sort of it shock me moment tough 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 because of course as you can see <laughs> i'm doing it and carrying him right um as much as he like he never gave me any problem like, he's not giving me any problem the only thing i consider a problem which is really not a problem is that i have to carry him 247 but um he only cries when he's hungry and sleepy aside that he's good and he's just happy always wanting to play just wants you to play with him and clown around him 247 um and i'll take that right so with content and everything in fact there are a ton of places like there's this resort in Ottawa that my husband wanted to take us to and I just said to him child baby's too young for this so let's just let's just chill like there's so many events that are happening someone even sent me like a, a camouflagery that's happening this weekend and I'm like golly I mean we could have gone but just the fact that you have a little baby and you don't want to just expose him to everything and anything um it's you know you just decide to stay put right and these are sort of contents that content opportunities that i'm missing right i've been able to share with you guys what a camouflage rave looks like i'm sure you guys have been like what the heck is that but yes <laughs> it's a concept well not to talk of you know this resort in quebec so there's a lot of things that we've been missing from a content opportunity perspective that we can't do so obviously being at home we just have to figure out you know creative ideas that we can do from the comfort of our home so these are some of like the the harsh realities that i learned um over time what else would i advise like from a maternity perspective don't even think twice take that maternity whether it's your first second third 15th baby whatsoever it count the baby is take your maternity leave if you're given that opportunity to take time off and bond with your child please totally take it like it's extremely as much as i've talked about how difficult it is and how it will humble you it's also an incredible opportunity because time passes time flies really fast and before you know like look my baby that was just born yesterday now he's already three months before you know it he's 10 months one year 20 years and then he's off to school and like dude time just flies by and before you know it they are grown right like, what can you do so as much time as you can spend with your kids make sure you're taking it especially when you're getting some sort of a coverage you know from the government i feel like it's the best thing like take it you know plan ahead and make sure you're you're still able to live comfortably during the mat leave and you'd have a blast like i i can't trade this time that i have with my kids for anything sometimes i even get scared that once my work routine starts and i start to go to work how will my kids sort of adjust to it but eventually they would right but at least you're giving them whether it's 10 months 18 months one year of their lives you know with your presence like you've blessed them with your you know undiluted presence and whatnot I feel like I've given enough, but let me know what you think about this. And if this is relatable, let me know if you guys are going through 
much more even than this so if there's you know anything else that you know you had expected going into my leave that turned out to be very different please leave that in the comment section i'll be really keen on knowing I'm, i mean as you know i'm just three months in i still have like a couple more months to go <laughs> so i really want to get ahead and hear from you guys as well as you know what to take into account and um, being on my leave and also um for those of our senior moms who have been there done that you know what will your, what will your guidance be in this train and how to better maximize you know this mad leave because i feel i find it like a one in a lifetime opportunity like obviously you don't get the opportunity to take mad leave again until you're pregnant again right so <laughs> yeah so leave it in comments and if you like this um episode just let me know i will do more sitting chats more conversational content as well and i'll definitely share more as i progress in um on this mat leave and everything so thank you for watching and thanks for stopping by if you haven't subscribed already come on you know what to do you know what to do now hit it hit the subscribe button like comment share let's keep the vibe going so catch you on the next video until then Take care of yourselves. Bye.